forging leaders beyond the game. It is our new um, slogan, and it kind of says what we, what we do, what we are. And I know it's probably an atypical answer, but it's really what I get excited about doing. It's fun to be part of the stories of our players. That can only be done inside of the context of doing things excellently. We are looking at continuing with a record setting. We now have a record set setting centennial, uh, six consecutive NCAA bids. Uh, we're looking for the seventh. Um, winning the conference championship is a huge thing, obviously, and all of the winning stuff and NCAA tournament. But at the end of the day, what I get excited about at this time in preseason and, and starting off the year is just being able to be part of the lives of our guys and working to make each other better. Family. Uh, it's a term that has two different content. It actually is a literal term for us right now because in part of the incoming freshman class is my son, Tyler, who is my family. Um, and, um, but they're also unusually tight. Uh, it's funny, they just kind of walk around in preseason in a pack. They seem to have connected very well through the summer. And it's just really, really cool to see how, how close that they are. Uh, I could put numerous different combinations of guys out that I would say would be started massive games last year. Uh, and I could go and I could talk about a lot of them. I'm just going to go with an atypical answer and mention someone that in preseason has just had a breakout um, that maybe isn't on the radar screen for a lot of our fans, which is Dallin Moore. Uh, he's playing his right back for us. Uh, last year we had he was a center mid that we tried to teach him how to play right back uh, and he did well and he started a lot of games there. But he never had played that position. It seems that now as a sophomore he's coming in and he's very comfortable in that spot and he has just been lightning. It's exciting. It's always hard to just mention one contest. Uh, we, we just play so many big games and we just have a lot of respect for opponents. Uh, the Smith Herb Boots, because of the historical nature of that and just how much both Elizabethtown and us care about that game is always going to be the first thing off of my lips. Um, Non-conference wise, uh, Eastern uh, is gonna be a huge one. Uh, Eastern, um, we played uh, a very, very tight second round incident boy tournament to Eastern uh, and, uh, and they advanced and we did not. So that is a circled game for us. Um, Within the conference, uh, the same thing with Haverford. Uh, with the, as far as Eastern was concerned, we had two really tight games. Haverford, uh, we had a tightly contested win at home. Uh, and then we had a very, very tight, tightly contested uh, loss in the conference final uh, last year. One new thing with our program that's just been so refreshing is Wyatt Fabian. Uh, Wyatt has, uh, was an All-American, two-time captain for us. Uh, and he is in as an assistant coach. Uh, he is taking graduate classes locally. Uh, Franklin Marshall doesn't have graduate classes. And so it's been hard to have someone that's been in that kind of a GA position that, that exists in some other schools. Um, and uh, this is the first time that I have someone doing that. And he has been uh, just absolutely awesome.